Hello friends, how are you all doing? Hope you all are fine and in good health and state of mind. Welcome to another tutorial by Query How To. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how you can use an automated script which I have prepared. Although I am not a programmer or a coder, I have researched and created a bash script for you to make your life easier by using this script you can safely get all the Kali Linux tools or I can say all the Kali Linux tools packages and install it on your Ubuntu guest so without any further delay let's get started I'll just log in now I have my script ready on my Windows machine so to bring it here I can just access the folder automated script so this is the script that we are going to run so I will just copy it to my guest machine so as you know I have to open the file explorer and the place where I want to copy the file from my windows host to my guest so this is where I want to copy it so I will just drag and drop as you can see the script has been copied now we can close the explorer we have the script on our desktop We will open a terminal ls to see all the directives cd desktop to go to the desktop directory where I have my script so I will write ls again to check yes here is my script now to run the script you will write sudo dot slash the script name but in case you know it, the script doesn't run it means you need to give permissions to, to do that I'll just cancel it and I'll change the permission for this script so I will write ch mod plus x and the script file name and press enter ls again to see it now to run it sudo dot slash and the script name once you hit enter it will ask you for your password Now the script is going to ask you if you want to add or remove Kali Linux repositories. So we want to add the Kali Linux repositories so that we can get all the tools, the Kali Linux tools. So I will press 1 and enter. Now the script is going to do its work and then it is again going to ask you if you want to get all Kali packages so here I'll put one as it is asking me to put one if I want to add or get the Kali packages so I'll press enter and as you can see the process is automated I don't have to do anything I just answered a few, uh, two questions and uh, the script is getting the Kali Linux packages for me Once it completes I will show you How to install a few packages so that you Understand that I am installing the Kali Linux tools on Ubuntu
Okay. So the script has wrapped the Kali Linux tools on my Ubuntu machine. Let me show you. If I try to install, if I try to install Leafpad, which you know, which you already know that uh, it is available on Kali Linux, not in Ubuntu. If you write sudo apt-get install leafpad in your Ubuntu, it won't get this. It won't install leafpad on your Ubuntu because this package is not available in Ubuntu. This is available on Kali Linux. So after running this script, if you run this command, it will be installing leafpad successfully. And why? Because we have all the Kali Linux tools or packages on our Ubuntu now. So if I hit enter, you can see it is trying to download it and install it. So I will press Y or yes and hit enter. Done. So if I write leaf pad, you can see the text editor leaf pad has just been installed. So I'll just close it without saving. So now uh, I will try to install Aircrack NG. Let's see if Aircrack, Aircrack NG is also uh, is already installed on Ubuntu. Air rack dash ng. It's not installed. So let's try to install it. sudo apt dash get install air crack ng and hit enter. Yes. Done. Now, if I write air crack dash ng, it successfully installed in is showing all the options for air crack ng. So that's clear. Now, unless again we have the script right. So let's say you want to upgrade, update, and upgrade your Ubuntu system. Please. Keep this in mind. Once you add the script, once you run the script to add Kali Linux repositories and you successfully add it and then got all the Kali Linux tools available for you to install, after finishing install, do remove the Kali repo again. And I'm not asking you to do it yourself by typing all those commands. Just run this script again and you can easily remove the Kali repo easily. Okay, so let's run this script again sudo dot slash script name hit enter. It is asking again enter 1 to add and 2 to remove Kali Linux repositories. So just type 2 and hit enter and it will automatically remove Kali Linux repositories. Okay, now do you want to update or upgrade your Ubuntu system? Yes, I want without corrupting my Ubuntu system. Now, if we do it, it's completely safe. So, we just need to press 1 and hit enter. And you can see the script is trying to update and upgrade the Ubuntu system. We can now we don't need to run the script again. If you want to do it manually, you can do it. sudo apt dash get update and then sudo apt dash get upgrade grid upgrade dash y. And if you 
hit enter it is doing the same thing but now non destructively why because the kali linux repositories and the tools or packages have been removed from the system without you even knowing that so i hope this script will help you in your penetration testing so thanks a lot for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends good luck